morning, Jim Hodges here, Nellie here. Nellie is a 10 month old Australian Labradoodle who came in for our residency training program. She's done really well. The primary reason she was here were for behaviors of barking, jumping, uh, chewing, play biting, chewing on things, potty work. All of that is things that can be addressed by themselves, but I have found that obedience is a wonderful way to uh, teach bad behaviors to go away. And why is that? Because obedience allows us in the moment to praise our dog or consequence our dog. And we do that with words, touch, treat, toy, and emotion on the praise side, words, touch, uh, sometimes abstinence, and maybe a little bit of voice inflection, no emotion on the consequence side. Why consequence? Consequence is touch, okay? I wanna bite my dog when they do something incorrectly, if they know they're doing it incorrectly. I want to praise them physically when they do it right. I'm also going to use a treat. She loves treats. I'm not going to give a treat to get my dog to obey, except in the beginning when I'm teaching the command. The treat, after my dog understands, is something they get for a job well done, 100% correctly the first time. Now back that up. When we're learning, they'll get a treat for doing it part of the way as long as they're trying, if that makes sense. So we do words and touch, treat, toy, what have you, and the purpose is to give us meaning back to our words again. I tell everybody, or everybody tells me, they have no. They use no in the beginning, and it works for a little while. Then they have to yell no. That works for a little while, and it becomes very inconsistent. What happens, it happens a lot like with our children. I believe it goes in one ear and out the other when there's no measurable action with it. Our consequence is not designed to intimidate, dominate, break their spirit, hurt them, or have them fear me. But it is a directive. It is a reaction to what they're doing, just like in the pack, okay? So uh, we're going to start working on obedience. If she does something wrong, I do something wrong, I'm going to try to call attention to it if I see it, and we're going to address it. The big things are I'm going to show you what we do when our dog does something correctly and incorrectly with leash handling. Leash handling is so important. So many people want their dog off leash. Well, unfortunately, by the time I get them, off leash is not something we can deal with right off. It has to be on leash. But on leash can't be like that. It has to be loose. I truly believe a loose leash is the closest to off leash in the beginning we can get to. Because when we have a loose leash and our dog does what we're wanting, we're fine. But if I have to tap the leash, they have to figure out what that means, they think. If we've got a tight leash all the time and I'm pulling them, get them to do it, I'm doing their work for them. And of course that doesn't uh, do anything for either one of us. Makes me frustrated or you frustrated. And sometimes makes the dog frustrated or they can check out. Good puppy. One of the things we want to do with Nellie here is every time she looks at us, praise her, okay? You can even give her a treat. Uh, I don't, if I pulled a treat out and she looked at my hand, I wouldn't give her the treat. It would be when she's looking at me, it comes out of nowhere, if you will. So having said that about treats, you're gonna, I'm going to show you how to give a treat here in a minute to her. There are children at home. We don't want her biting on the children. And sometimes giving a treat just sort of lends to biting. Hey, baby, you ready? Good girl. Let's go. So let's go to my walking command. I want her to walk with me. I don't want her to pull. I don't want uh, Nellie to lag behind. So Nellie will lag behind a little bit, so I'll encourage her. Come on, girl. I very rarely bite, good girl, bite a dog, provide a consequence when they're lagging, unless they're doing it purposely, okay? Uh, typically, I just try to encourage them up, and when they get up beside me, I'm going to be even more encouraging, and I may even give them a treat when they're up beside me to show them that good things happen when they're right here. I don't let them in front. She's not going to do it. But if she started getting front, I would tap back. Now, what would happen when we have to tap? I always tell my clients we have a loose leash and we tap back to our side. Wherever that is, it's no, let's go. And then after we bite in any command, I always come back and provide a little bit of praise when they're doing it right. Not as much as if they did it right the first time, but a little bit of praise when they're doing it right. Good girl. She's sitting here being good. Why do I keep praising her? Because I believe we need to praise 20 times more during the day than we bought, at least 20 times. So when she's doing something that makes us happy, we need to do it. 
if she's not chewing on a toy, we need to praise her for being a good girl and not chewing. And then she says, oh, I can do this. And now listen to my tone. Let's go, man. Now, this time when she gets up beside me, I may give her a little trick. Okay, baby, let's go, baby. And a girl, and I keep walking. Good girl. Pet, love, and we're going. Sit. Hand signal for sit, I told her to sit. When she sits, I praise her, good girl. If I wanted to give her a treat, I could do that. If she didn't sit, I would tap the leash up and go, no, sit, then come back and give her a little bit of praise. If she got up out of the sit, I would tell her, no, sit, and a little bit of praise. Pray. If she made that mistake, then I would come back and probably do that a couple of times or if I make the mistake until we got it right. Good girl, let's go. So again, sit, add a girl. Ah, oh, I don't know if you can see that. She was getting ready to lay down. That's the what I was talking about loose leash. She caught herself and stopped it. So that was fantastic. Good. Now we are down. Hand signal from in front, down. If she didn't down, I would tap the leash. With her, I want her to down right there. Uh, it's important that she doesn't move when we tell her to down unless we're already moving. When she's in a stationary position, she needs to do it. She loves to love. She wants to get up under you. Uh, she wants to do all these things to ingratiate herself and love her owner. We can't do that. Also, she's doing a very good job of not smelling. When I tell a dog to down, I don't want them to smell the ground unless I give them stay. I give a down stay, that means pack your bags, you're gonna be there a while, you don't have to worry about what we're doing. I very rarely do a sit stay, okay? Sit, I only keep a dog in a command for 15, 30 seconds a minute. I just don't like to put that pressure on the rear end. Okay, sit. Good girl. Let's go. So that was from in front. Come on, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That a girl. So one of the other things I'll do is I'll change directions when I'm doing let's go, and all that's designed to do is to teach our dog to focus on us, okay? Good, down, good girl, good girl. Your sweetheart. Same thing from the side, this is the hand signal, she didn't do it, no, down, okay? Good girl, let's go. Okay, the next command is the Add a girl. Places to get on her bed, lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what she does as long as she stays on her bed. If you go back and watch this, I praised her when her fourth foot got on the bed, with all four feet immediately. In the moment, we have to provide our praise and consequence, okay? I praised her. Now, if she started to get up and move, I would tap back like in the let's go or movement command, just like with let's go, back to the bed. No, 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 play. She can do this for an hour and a half or two. In fact, if you go on Facebook, you'll see her in a down stay with two other dogs I have here on this uh, cycle of training. She can do this. It's a great way to have a little bit of time out at the end of the day, to have her on her bed not hassling the kids, and also to test with the kids running around and being crazy she learns she has to hold. Good girl, great. Sit. Other thing, break. You notice I said break and step away from them. Good girl. What I am doing when I tell a dog to break is release the command. When I release her from a command and I got her on a leash, she can never, ever, ever pull me again on the leash. But when I release her, I'm telling her she doesn't have to do that command anymore, just chill, be with me, okay? The other thing with the break, if you noticed I took a step back, is to encourage her to come to me, okay? I want her to feel comfortable. I want her to want to do that, okay? It's sort of like the onset of the come command, okay? But when she comes to me, I'm a pet her, lover. I might even give her a treat. I have given her a treat in the break command. So now I didn't tell her let's go, but I started moving, which was fine. But I wouldn't have bent her if she didn't come. I would have told her let's go first. Let's go. Girl, sit. So now I got a treat in my pocket. I'm getting ready to do the C O M E command. So uh, pulled one out of my pocket. I'm gonna step out, and this is the only. Come. She 
comes, she sits, she holds, she looks at me. Watch my treat. Good girl. Give her the treat, pet, and love her. And she holds it. On leash to come, she comes and sits with me. Great. That a girl. Now, do you have to have her sit? That's entirely up to you. That's just what I do, okay? Let's go. Sit. Come. And that's just a pet and love. Let's go. Oh, the other thing is off leash. So many people tell me that their dog doesn't come to them when they out in the yard and things like that. Uh, they've learned probably that if they don't come to you, they may get punished for something happens that's negative to them uh, or there's something more interesting. So what happens is when we ask our dog to come to us outside, we've got to be certain they come. So one of the ways I do this is to start it is, and I'll do this two, three, four hundred times if necessary, is I will never call my dog to me unless they're committed to coming off leash in the beginning. When they're out in the yard, what I may do is take a toy or a treat, and I'll go, hey, now, look what I got, come. So did you notice that I did not tell her, good girl, Frank, tell her to come till she started coming to me? What I am doing is, is I'm implanting that word with her happiness, her excitement to come to me, okay? Again, no consequences on the end of it. Let's go. Now, I know Nelly gets on the furniture. My suggestion to you is, is that's fine, but if you want her off of the furniture, I would tell her to get off. And if she doesn't do it, it's no off. What I don't do is, uh, is I use the off as a negative. No and act are the only negatives that provide consequences. If I was going to allow a dog on the furniture, in my home, dogs don't get on the furniture unless we command them to, okay? So then when I command them to get on the furniture, they get on it. When they can get off of it anytime they want, unless I say, like, play. But what will happen is when uh, I'm ready for them to get off, I'll usually tell them break, okay? So here we are. This is the load up. Load up. And a girl, good girl. Break. So the last thing that we have on our schedule here, and then I want to address the behavior, trying to stay out of this sunlight that's coming through this morning, sit, is the heel command. Good girl. See how she's watching? We want to praise that all the time, is the heel command. The heel command, we have a box beside us, is her job to stay in that box, my job to keep her in that box. And she's not supposed to bear out of it. The only time she's going to bear out of it is when we make sudden moves and then she has to have a chance to catch up. What I do in the beginning is I do straight lines. You ready? Heel. So we heel, we stop, she sits. Good girl, and she sits automatically and she holds that sit until I release her. Very good. Heel. Watch when I step off. She's trying to come right back into the box. I stop, good. Good girl. Right, one dog training or dog trainer trick is, but I think it's important because we want to build on success, is we don't stop in that heel until she's back in the box, okay? Because we don't want her to fail. We want to build on success. We don't want to give a command and her fail. We want her to be able to do it. And when she does it, we want to provide praise. Praise, words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. We want to build that, that uh, emotional contact with her, that relationship with her. I know you got a dog, I got a dog, I have that bond with mine and I know that's what you want with yours, okay? They don't mind a little bit of direction or consequence. That happens instinctively in the pack. It's when you're unsound, I'm unsound, that they don't like it and they begin not to trust us, okay? So the only other thing that she really, really liked to do was jump on people. And one of the things I do is, is I'll I've already talked to my owner about this. Let's go. Good girl. Atta girl. I'll actually try to incite it. And if she started to jump on me, I'd grab her, bring her back to the ground, tell her no, good girl, and pet her. If she didn't jump on me, here I go pulling out a treat again, break the command, let's go. There wasn't a command, just break the situation. Had a girl, good girl. Boom. 
Great. Let's go. Sit. Good. Let's go. Sit. Good. Great. What did I do there? Quiz. My quiz was she didn't sit right off for me, and I gave a little tap if you saw it. Whenever my dog misses something that they know how to do, or I miss something that I know how to do, I come back and try to do it at least two times in a row correctly. She's a good girl. She will, her loving nature will take advantage of situations if you allow it. Ah, be good. Will uh, take advantage of situations if you allow it. If it's something you like, praise her, we're good. If it's something you don't like, you've got to be ready to get in front of it. Okay, she's going to do it over and over again till you fix it. Thank you so much. Good girl. My name is Jim Hodges, jimhodgesdogtraining.com. Uh, website's jimhodgesdogtraining.com. Facebook is Jim Hodges Dog Training. 336-945-3232. I know what I did there. Let's see if you know what I did. I really appreciate it. If you ever need me, give me a call. There's no charge if anybody comes to me. Okay? And that's it. I appreciate you so much, and God bless.